Sema kwa sauti ya wata kanyara jela. Sema mara saba kwa jina la Yesu. Awata kanyara jela. It was a prayer meant to find a lasting solution to the ongoing doctor strike. Dawa mazuri kwa jina la Yesu. Mungu ageuze. Dawa mazuri kwa jina la Yesu. Mungu ageuze mabaya. Dawa mazuri kwa jina la Yesu. These to the union officials was their last hope that even might hear their pleas for some breakthrough. And with the talks with the government sounding a marriage, Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacist and Dentist Union Secretary General Omar Luga is urging Kenyans to pray with doctors in order to find a amicable solution to when the impasse. And every single week we have always um, uh, continued with our life of asking Kenyans to pray. Today we are uh, asking Kenyans also to pray with us as the doctors so that uh, we can get a solution. Uh, the, the problem that is there in the country is not a doctor's problem, it's a healthcare problem and it touches on every single Kenyan, especially Kenyans uh, of uh, backgrounds as we are in right now. The union says the government has sidelined them and it's not treating the matter with the seriousness it deserves. Oluga says during the talks they tabled seven ways for the government to implement the CBA to ensure minimal or no heavy impact on the country's budget. Every single Kenyan to access a doctor. That's why we are saying that doctors should be employed because what happens to people who do not have any choice and healthcare is not a choice or a luxury or a commodity. Healthcare is a right in the constitution. When you talk about training of doctors, what we are talking about is the, the common man like you and I who go to hospital and you have to um, uh, wait because you've been given bad treatment because the doctor was not given the capacity or the training to treat you well. The other issue is work environment, which includes how many hours you wait in the hospital, you as a patient, how what's the facility that the doctor has to treat you. And the last one is about pay. So we have presented the most important things that can be done right now and the things that can be done later on. As long as there's an agreement, as long as there's a, there's a commitment signed and deposited in court, that it will be done. The government has, however, maintained that the union rejected proposal by the government to conclude negotiations towards ending the strike and turned down government's enhanced offer of 40% increment of their current remuneration. In a statement, the government says that the 2013 collective bargaining agreement, which is the genesis of the current industrial action by doctors, is not registered in court. The government accuses the union officials of acting in bad faith and engaging in divisionary tactics to frustrate every effort for a solution to be found. The government still maintains that there will be no salary award without the input of the Salaries and Remuneration Commission that is mandated to provide guidelines on public service pay, saying the doctors are among the highest paid public servants. The union officials are staring at one month jail term should they fail to call off the strike in the next three days. Brenda Kipron reporting for Channel One News Weekend.